This video covers how to fix a loose side mirror on a Lexus. Alrighty, we're working on a 2007 RX350. Uh, it's got a loose mirror. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pop open this small clip, which will expose two T25 Torx screws. And you're just going to tighten them up. Uh, that's one way to go at it. What we're going to do is we're going to actually pull them out and put Loctite on them and then put them back in. Then we're just going to put a little dab of Loctite on the threads so that we don't have this <clears throat> loose condition again. We're just going to put this guy back in and tighten her up. That's snug. Let's see if this guy needs to come out or if it's snug too. Yep, we're going to go ahead and pull this one out and do some Loctite on that one as well. Just dabbing it. And back in. You want to be very careful not to scratch the paint because you will be in very tight quarters. Once that's tight, the little tab where you put your screwdriver in to open it goes towards the back. And you just press it back in the position. And that's it. That's what you do for this side. We're going to go to the other side, which is uh, completely missing the two screws. Now we're on the driver's side, which is completely missing the plastic cover and the two screws that hold the mirror assembly in place. Uh, I found that 10 30 seconds by half inch, I'll put that in the description for you guys, uh, was the proper size screw. I couldn't find a Torx head, so I'm going to substitute that with just your standard flathead screw. So just put a little bit of Loctite on it so that we don't have any uh, more backing out, which eventually I'm sure it might again. but. <clears throat> Let's make it a little bit harder for it to mess up. And uh, you're going to want to make sure your holes are nice and lined up so that this all slips together quite easily. Alright. So that guy's starting. And then just screw her in. Be very careful not to scratch the paint because you are working in a very close proximity. And that would be the last thing you want to do. So I'm just going to switch so I can get better turn on it.
and then you'll do the same for the other. A little bit of Loctite. Line up your holes. Should be pretty much lined up now. And put it all back in. And again, you're just being really careful not to scratch any of the paint because that would be a nightmare. And there we go. No more wobbly mirror. Unfortunately, we don't have this small bevel plastic piece that covers the two screws or else you would put that back on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.